God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. One bread, one, one body, one Lord of all. One cup of blessing which we bless. And we, the many, throughout the earth, we are one body in this one Lord. Gentile Lord Jew, servant or free, woman or man, no more. One bread, one body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we who am, and wicked men do not accept my ways, for the law of the Lord is my delight. Alleluia. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. When the wicked are judged, they shall not stand, nor find room among those who are just. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am who am, and, and wicked, wicked men do not accept my ways, for the law of the Lord is my delight. Alleluia. I have asked my Father, and he has given me the nations for my inheritance. Alleluia. Why this tumult among nations, among peoples this useless murmuring? They arise, the kings of the earth. Princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Come, let us break their fetters. Come, let us cast off their yoke. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord is laughing them to scorn. Then he will speak in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask, and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them shatter them like a potter's jar. Now, O kings, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with awe, and trembling pay him your homage, lest he be angry and you perish. 
for suddenly his anger will blaze. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have asked my Father, and, and he, he has, has given, given me the nations for my inheritance. inheritance. Alleluia. I lay down to rest and fell asleep. I awoke again, for the Lord sustains me. Alleluia. How many are my foes, O Lord! How many are rising up against me! How many are saying about me, There is no help for him in God! But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory, who lift up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord. He answers from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake, for the Lord upholds me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Arise, Lord, save me, my God, you who strike all my foes on the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O Lord of salvation, bless your people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I lay down to rest and fell asleep. I, I awoke, awoke again, again, for, for the, the Lord sustains, sustains me. me. Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia. From the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been raised up in company with Christ, set your heart on what pertains to higher realms where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Be intent on things above rather than on things of earth. After all, you have died. Your life is hidden now with Christ in God. When Christ our life appears, then you shall appear with him in glory. Put to death whatever in your nature is rooted in earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desires, and that lust which is idolatry. These are the sins which provoke God's wrath. Your own conduct was once of this sort, when these sins were your very life. You must put that aside now, all the anger and quick temper, the malice, the insults, the foul language. Stop lying to one another. What you have done is put aside your old self with its past deeds and put on a new man, one who grows in knowledge as he is formed anew in the image of his creator. There is no Greek or Jew here, circumcised or uncircumcised, foreigner, Scythian, slave or free man, rather, Christ is everything in all of you. Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Over all these virtues put on love, which binds the rest together and makes them perfect. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of the one body you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, 
hymns, and inspired songs. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Since you have been raised to life with Christ, set your hearts on the things of heaven, where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Seek the things that are above and not the things of earth. Alleluia. You have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Seek the things that are above and not the things of earth. Alleluia. From a sermon by St. Augustine, Bishop. I speak to you who have just been reborn in baptism, my little children in Christ. You who are the new offspring of the church, gift of the Father, proof of Mother Church's fruitfulness. All of you who stand fast in the Lord are a holy seed, a new colony of bees, the very flower of our ministry and fruit of our toil, my joy and my crown. It is the words of the Apostle that I address to you. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh and its desires, so that you may be clothed with the life of him whom you have put on in this sacrament. You have all been clothed with Christ by your baptism in him. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free man. There is neither male nor female. You are all one in Christ Jesus. Such is the power of this sacrament. It is a sacrament of new life, which begins here and now with the forgiveness of all past sins and will be brought to completion in the resurrection of the dead. You have been buried with Christ by baptism into death in order that, as Christ has risen from the dead, you also may walk in newness of life. You are walking now by faith, still on pilgrimage in a mortal body, away from the Lord. But he to whom your steps are directed is himself the sure and certain way for you, Jesus Christ, who for our sake became man. For all who fear him, he has stored up abundant happiness, which he will reveal to those who hope in him, bringing it to completion when we have attained the reality which even now we possess in hope. This is the octave day of your new birth. Today is fulfilled in you the sign of faith that was prefigured in the Old Testament by the circumcision of the flesh on the eighth day after birth. When the Lord rose from the dead, he put off the mortality of the flesh. His risen body was still the same body, but it was no longer subject to death. By his resurrection, he consecrated Sunday, or the Lord's Day. Though the third after his passion, this day is the eighth after the Sabbath, and thus also the first day of the week. And so, your own hope of resurrection, though not yet realized, is sure and certain, because you have received the sacrament or sign of this reality, and have been given the pledge of the Spirit. If then you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your hearts on heavenly things, not the things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. You have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, you will appear with him in glory. Alleluia. You must consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. When Christ, who is your life, appears, you will appear with him in glory. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, acclaim we acclaim you. You, you are, are the eternal, eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God of mercy, you wash away our sins in water. You give us new birth in the Spirit and redeem us in the blood of Christ. As we celebrate Christ's resurrection, increase our awareness of these blessings and renew your gift of life within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.